Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you what you can copy from the Felix Auger Aliasim serve to improve your serve's power. Now, this video is courtesy of Court Level Tennis. Thank you, Liam Mampolato, for allowing me to use this video. Uh, you can subscribe to his awesome channel in the description below. All right, so here it is. Let's check out this serve. This serve is a perfect display of big-time power. And it's going to come partly, you know, with a lot of different things happening, but partly due to his legs. And I want to teach you this. You want to incorporate leg use and leg drive in your serve. And most players I talk to, they know that there should be this knee bend here, but it isn't necessarily what players do that is wrong. It's when they do it, right? It's, it's not just what you do. It's when you do it that matters. So let's check this out. When the ball comes out of his hand, that's when he begins bending. You can see that ball comes out of his hand, then he begins bending his knees. Now, when should you explode your legs back up? It needs to happen before you hit the birthday hat or before you, you know, get into the trophy position, basically. So this position right here, you could consider as the trophy position. His legs have already begun going up. I watch so many players, especially on Instagram, because people post a lot of videos of themselves serving. You see a lot of players, and they allow their racket to drop all the way down, almost to the bottom of the racket drop, before they ever start using the legs driving up. Hey, we'll get back to that video in just a second. But first, if you would like me to personally fix your technique once and for all, maybe it's your serve or your forehand or your backhand that you feel like is holding you back. Or actually, maybe you hit the ball fine, but it just doesn't translate into wins on the court. We can analyze your match strategy. Or maybe it's your footwork or you're just not split stepping. Whatever it is, we can fix it with a private Zoom lesson. I want you to click the link below in the description and sign up at a time that's convenient for you. Sign up for a private Zoom lesson. You'll send me videos, we'll meet live on Zoom, and I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison between you and your technique and the pros and how you can gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. By the way, this is the best tennis lesson you will ever have, guaranteed. I will put a private Zoom lesson up against any in-person lesson you can ever take. Go below, sign up for a private Zoom lesson in the description. Well, I shouldn't say do that right now because I want you to watch the rest of this video. So after you watch the video, click that link below in the description. Talk to you soon. So if we just look at the point where his head is at its lowest point, so that's the top of his head right now, and you can see that, right? So he's above that, he tosses, and now he gets down to that yellow line. Now watch. Watch when he gets above that yellow line. So here it is right there. We can already see his head peeking up above that line, and his racket hasn't even begun dropping yet. So now his head is going up, and that's when the racket drop occurs. Remember, this line is his lowest point, and now his head drives up as the racket goes down. You want the body exploding up as the racket begins dropping. That accentuates the shoulder stretch. It accentuates the potential power that's going to go up into the serve. Film yourself hitting serves. See if you are bending the knees when the ball leaves your hand and then exploding up from the point where your racket hits the birthday hat or is just about to hit the birthday hat and then your head goes up in that point. You'll also notice that as his racket goes down, so does his tossing arm. So you can really draw this level line from racket to hand. Racket to hand. The hand goes, the tossing hand goes down with the racket and they go opposite the body. So you can see that the body is going down and the arms are up. And now the body is about to go up, up and the arms go down. The arms and the body kind of work opposite each other in a service motion. That's how you create a tremendous amount of power. Here's his big knee bend. Now watch his body starts exploding up as the racket is going down. Such an easy concept to see, but only if you are filming yourself and reviewing the footage. So go out and hit some serves and film yourself and look to see that when you toss the ball, that's when your knees bend. And when you get your racket into that hitting position, that, that trophy position, that's when your legs explode up. You copy this Leg drive timing, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.